Three Steps from Psalm 139 to Declutter Your Heart Written by Kia Stevens and read by Kelly Gibbons Today's Bible verse is Psalm 139, 23 and 24 Search me, God, and know my heart Test me and know my anxious thoughts See if there is any offensive way in me And lead me in the way everlasting If we're not careful, our hearts can become like double-sided tape, picking up slights and hurts with increasing ease. And God is never duped by our outward appearance. He, better than anyone, knows that no human being is exempt from needing to declutter our hearts. Even David, described as a man after God's own heart, asked God to examine the contents of his soul in Psalm 139. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. His prayer gives us three practical steps to follow in decluttering our hearts. First, ask God. David courageously asked God to conduct an internal excavation. This was a brave request considering God knows all things even that which we hide from ourselves. And though the combination of our mind, will, and emotions may look like a long overdue garage sale, he is not hesitant to delve inside. He is not repelled by the complexity of our soul. Fully aware of the sum total of who we are, he delights in us. Step two, listen to God. David not only asked, but was prepared to listen to all that God would reveal to him about his heart. This was evident by his words, See if there is an offensive way in me. David wanted to know God's opinion of who he was at his core. If we choose, like David, to declutter our hearts, we need to be prepared for what God has to say about us. He may ask us to part with a piece of ourselves we feel intimately connected to, Though it may be difficult, we can rest in the truth that God loves us extravagantly. He is a master heart pruner who purges because he knows it will make us better. Gently, he persistently prompts us to release the jumbled hodgepodge of clutter we've piled up in our hearts. As our creator, we can trust he has a purpose when he says, let it go. He alone knows what needs to be kept or discarded. Step three, follow God. David ends his psalm by saying, lead me into the way of everlasting. If you are like me, sometimes I think I am a shepherd instead of a sheep. Foolishly, I get confused into thinking I can do a better job leading myself, but I can't. This is futile because a self-led person is headed for ruin. It is better to be led by God who sees our beginning and our end. If he can speak to the waves and bring peace, then he can speak to our cluttered souls and bring order. We must surrender to him, believing his infinite understanding of who we are is far superior than our finite perspective. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.